What's going on, everybody? It's your main man, Drew Too. You guessed it. I'm back at you again with another video. Let's get right into it. Everybody, right now, smash the like button, the share button, and the subscribe button. If you didn't know, now you know. Someone is about to be doing really bad because you just took your energy back and now they don't have any. Let's talk about it. Ever since you've taken your energy back, I know you've noticed people treating you differently. People are turning up their efforts in an attempt to try to get your attention. Before, they would just do little small things, little light stuff, but new levels, new devils. Now, they're kicking it up a notch. You're recognizing all types of cringeworthy, gang stalkerish, gaslighting experiences. People doing all types of things that if you were to say, hey, you're following me. Hey, you're being loud on purpose. Hey, you're trying to get on my nerves. They would say no. But the good thing is they can only try. They can only try and attempt to bother you. They can only try and attempt to get on your nerves. If you don't let them, they can't. The one thing about your mind is if you don't use certain faculties, you will lose certain faculties. So the fact that you're not giving up and you're fighting for your peace of mind, which I hope you are, fighting for your sanity, which is yours, it's your birthright, you're going to become stronger over a period of time. Sanity is nothing to play with. And when people try to play with your sanity, you have to realize who you're dealing with. You are dealing with a devil in the flesh. When people try to play with your sanity and try to play with your mind, show no love to these people. Have no love for these people. Don't care anything about these people. Don't, don't care an ounce, an inch. Don't, don't, don't care a molecule, all right? Don't have any love for these people at all except the love of God. You can have some God love for them, okay? Have some God love for them. Other than that, you don't have anything to do with these people. The reason why I say you have the love of God for them because the love of God is just. The love of God is righteous. God's love is not just hugs and kisses. God's love could come in the form of fire and destruction for his chosen ones. Specifically, his chosen ones. So, you being the one that God loves, them being the heir to Satan, okay? They're not going to have any respect for you. They're not going to have any love for you. But they're going to smile in your face and try to act like they do. You, on the other hand, you realize that they evil as hell. You realize that these people are evil. So what you'll do is you just stay away from them, keep your distance, disengage, go the other way. You don't want anything to do with them. But the fact that they're a little slow, they're demonic, they see that as a power grab. They see that as an opportunity for them to try to get energy. When all the while you're just focused on yourself, minding your business, not caring about them whatsoever. But you're leveling up. They've done this to you over a period of time. You've been going through this ever since you became aware that it was happening. And most likely, God only knows when, when it started. But once you became aware of this, it just became a constant constant struggle for you to try to achieve peace of mind to try to hold on to any peace period to try to hold on to your sanity people would do things to you and you would you would try to work it out like a good person like a god-loving person you try to get the, the issue resolved only to be further gaslit frustrated and upset these people will play with you to, these people will play with you and play with you and play with you 
until you stop playing with them. Until you stop playing. Until you take your energy, you take your little ball of energy, you leave you you leave the courtyard and you go over there and sit in the sandbox by yourself and enjoy your ball of energy, enjoy your ball of light by yourself. And you don't be distracted when they come around asking to play, trying to get your attention, trying to get you to put your focus on them. They're children and they're not mature. They don't have a mature bone in their body. All right. And they act like little kids, just like a little child to try to get your attention. So will they. All right. A child won't stop until it get it till it gets what it wants. Like you got some candy or you got some cookies or you got some sweets or a new toy came out. I remember bugging that crap out of my parents. Hey, 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 making songs about it, uh, making jokes about it, talking about it all the time, um, talking about it out loud like they don't know what I'm talking about. The commercial come on. I'm like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow, come look. And it's the same thing I done showed them like for the past week. By now, they know I want this toy. They know I want that snack. They know I want something. And it's the same thing with these energy vampires. Same thing with these gang stalkers and these gaslighters. You know, you're aware that they want something. You have eyes, you have ears, you have a nose, you, you, you have senses, you can tell, all right? I hope these gang stalkers and, and gaslighters aren't making you have to use your nose, but um, you get the point. And you have senses. You are intelligent enough and aware enough to tell when people are trying to get attention from you. And the fact that you haven't been giving them any, you haven't been giving them what they so crave, they're starting to lose their mind. And you will see that, and they're, it's only going to get worse. People, People's behavior will change. It will go from polite to demonic real fast. And they honestly believe that you're supposed to worship the ground they walk on. That that is that's the whole satanic um, that's the whole satanic mindset to think that you're better than God, to think that you're better than others. Try to confuse people, spread confusion. All right, spread false narratives. That's what they do. They want to try to make you believe that they're better than you. That's what they're doing when they're trying to insert themselves in your reality and trying to make you force your attention onto them. That's what they're trying to do. So the fact that you're not giving them the attention that you used to, they don't know what to do. They're, they're at a loss for words. They're trying anything and everything to try to get you re to react like you used to. They loved it when you used to react. They loved it when you used to get mad and get angry and get and, and give the people what they want. They, they were so nice to you, smiling in your face, all happy, all right? And they're the same people. This is how you know they're evil. Same people, they will smile in your face. Ha, ha, he, he, be your friend. But their actions don't match their words. That's what you have to watch out for with these types of people, all right? Their actions don't match their words. They'll say, hi, how are you? How you doing? And then you'll walk around the corner and here they are stalking you, trying to take your energy. They're fake. They're not real. There's nothing real about them. All right. These people aren't true people. They're fake individuals. All right. With, with bad, with, with bad hearts and bad spirits. Trying to get your energy all day. And when you don't give it to them, just be prepared for them to start doing off the wall stuff. All right. If you have any type of anger if you have any type if you get mad easily if, if you used to react to them that's what they are going to try to bring you back to that is their constant game you constantly elevate they constantly want to bring you back down they are upset they're angry they feel weak they feel like they lost these are all things that they hate about themselves when you don't give them any attention 
they are brought back to feeling like nothing. They are brought back to how they feel about themselves. When you give them a reaction, you make them feel better about who they are because they have a false sense of power. They feel powerful because they can make the person who's really powerful react, look crazy, act out, get upset, get mad. Like I say, when you get mad, they control you. They want that control. They want to be able to control you. Anger, they want to be able to control every aspect of your life. All right? They want to constantly control you, constantly make you feel that they have more power in your life than you have more power in your life. So when you don't give them any energy, they're going to start doing things that are even worse. They're going to start kicking it up a notch. They're going to start turning up. So if you reacted before, make sure that you maintain your peace because now like I said, they're going to be doing anything to try to get you back to that state. They're going to be doing anything and everything to try to get that reaction. The fact that what they're doing isn't working, now they're going to start trying to turn it up. You are you are leveling up. They're trying to level up as well with their evilness, their tactics, their narcissism, their negativity, their uh, demonic activity. All right, They're trying to level up with that as well to see if they can have more of an effect on you. So now they're really going, they're really starting to put it together. They're really starting to get organized now. All right, now the person who doesn't like you over here is noticing that it's somebody over there that don't like you either because they're all watching you. They're all paying attention to you. And now since you're not giving, giving them what they want, now you're kind of, you're still low radar, but now they're starting to notice you more because when you were giving them the attention, they're like, okay, there's just this crazy person. Ain't nobody worried about him. He's just reacting to people. He push over. You can walk all over him. You can treat him however you want. He ain't going to do nothing. He ain't going to say nothing. Blah, 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 blah. Now that you're controlling your energy, these people are scared. They don't know what to do. They're grouping up because there's power in numbers and they're trying to figure out an idea. They're trying to figure out who's the most evil person that they could try to get to affect you. They're trying to figure out who is the most evil out of their little group to have the most evil, demonic, treacherous idea to bring you back down and to further break you down and to further abuse you with their uh, narcissistic ways, their gaslighting and everything else. Also, they could get a reaction. Now they don't want a reaction. They want a, they want a supernova. They want you to give them the ultimate reaction because if they can all bother you, and if they can all gaslight you, then that's 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 like four on one, three on one. If three people are pointing the finger at one person, that one person is pretty much screwed, especially depending on who who is within that three. All right. You like we get hated on so much as believers in God and chosen ones, people who are chosen by God to carry out a specific purpose. We get uh, targeted by it'll be the owner of the place. It'll be the per people who live there. So if the owner don't like you, people who live there don't like you, and they're all out to try to get your attention. If you try to complain about the people to the owner, those are his flying monkeys. Oh, okay. I hear you. I see what you're saying. All right. I'll talk to them about that. He'll go or she'll go talk to them about that and, and pay them and go give them some money or go pat them on the back or tell them good job or decrease their rent for that week. Okay, you only owe $180 instead of $350 like all the other uh, tenants. Thank you for annoying this person. Thank you for uh, uh, making this person freak out and frustrating this person because they it's like a comedy show to them. You know how you might watch some Dave Chappelle. You might watch some Kevin Hart. You might watch some Ha Ha Davis or some... some uh, 85 South Show. Shout out to 85 South Show. That's one of my favorite shows. You watch 85 South Show besides Drew 2. Drew 2 is my favorite show. All right. But you, you'll watch comedy. You'll laugh. Ha ha he he. You'll have a good time. That's how they view bothering you. They're, they're, they're demons. Only demons view demonic activity for sport. All right. They view demonic activity for sport. They view the, the stalking as sport. It's fun to them. It's like going out and shooting hoops to try to bother you and get a reaction. They get a reaction, they feel they scored. They get a reaction from you, they feel like they want a trophy, they got a touchdown. They, they want a race. But it, it, it's all because they're small-minded and they're, uh, they work for the devil. 
They're small-minded demons that work for Satan. They're his agents, his evil ones. God has chosen ones. Satan has evil ones. All right? And once you stop reacting to them, they're going to start grouping up. They're going to start linking up, trying to, trying to connect, see who has the most evil idea to try to do the most to you, to try to get you out of your situation, out of your peace, and into, into the hellfire that they have prepared for you. These people want you under their negative treatment. They want, they want to make you suffer. They want, to, they want to be that bad day. They want to be that tough time. They want to be that trial. They want to be that tribulation. They want to be that annoying factor in your life. They want to be the thing that makes you hate your life, that makes you dread your life. You feel good. You feel happy. As soon as you see them, they want that to turn all the way around. You know how it's always been that one person that just makes you go, uh, you could even probably beat that person up if you wanted to. It's just the fact that this person is probably annoying and frustrating you. But once you, once you get your energy under control, once you get how you feel under control, you get, you contain that anger and you, you are able to transmutate that and turn it into positive energy. You'll be able to smile in the face of these haters. You'll be able to laugh at their tactics instead of getting mad at their tactics. You'll be looking at them like, yo, these people crazy AF. All right. And they are crazy. They have a personality disorder and that personality disorder comes from being, being of the devil. All right. It, it comes from those demonic genes. All right. Those demon genes. All right. They're, they don't, they don't, they're not able to connect to God. They can't get healed. They can't get repaired. They can't get fixed. All right. They got to go to God for that. They keep going to the devil. All right. And, and they're only going to keep further deteriorating. Just they want you to deteriorate. They don't know how they're deteriorating spiritually by operating on the lowest part of themselves by operating as their, their lowest version. And they're about to be doing real bad. All right. They're going to be doing real bad. They were on cloud nine when they were getting that reaction from you. When they got your energy, everything was good. They high five each other, slap five, high five. How you feeling today? Good. Because they're all jealous and mad that you're better than them. So what they're going to do is gang up and try to treat you bad to make themselves all feel better collectively as a group. It's, it's very cowardly for people to do that, but that's what cowardly people do. That's how strong you are. Take five or six of them, 20 of them. They got to group up against you and they got to do, they got to behave narcissistically. So that way they can gaslight you about it because you try to, if you try to say, Hey, these people are even, even say that you, you didn't go to the uh, manager because you know, the manager is on the same type of time as the people who live here. Say you try to call the uh, head company person or the person who's in charge or the person who's the manager or the head person of the area or the person who doesn't even know. Say you try to alert the authorities. Say the authorities don't have nothing to do with it. I know sometimes authorities are included in gang stalking and I could see that, that they are by their behavior. But it's like you try to tell people and it's like, yo, it's three verse one. No one's going to believe you so easily when you have three quote unquote functional people pointing the finger at you trying to tell someone that there's something wrong with you trying to tell them that you have an issue don't believe this person this person's crazy and they will they will get together and they will gaslight you as a group and try to be more powerful than you as a group by all saying the same bad things about you i agree with that i agree with that i agree with that too and if enough people believe a lie about you and they believe the smear campaign, they can start to get some people to believe it. But only by you not reacting and you keeping your cool is going to it's going to destroy their plans. And that's why God says not to give these people any reaction, not to retaliate, because God's going to destroy their plans and people are going to see who, them for who they really are. And they're only going to expose themselves but only by you not reacting to them. When you don't react to them, they expose themselves. And that's a whole nother video right there. When you don't react to them, they expose themselves because they're showing who they really are. They're showing that they hate you. They're showing that they're haters. They're showing that they're jealous and only jealous people act like that. All right, it's nobody loving themselves, walking around, acting like that, trying to steal attention from people. Even, even the opposite sex 
of people who love themselves like that. Girls that love themselves ain't out there in every guy's face and dudes that love themselves ain't out there in every female face. People that love themselves just be chilling and they just attract <laughs> because the amount of love that one person has in them, the other person will have in them as well. And they just be, they'll attract that person love themselves. That person love themselves. Boom. Attraction. And it won't be a fatal one. All right. So, yo, know, someone is about to be doing really bad. All right. These people get sick when they don't get your reaction. All right. They feel you know how somebody tell they're going to give you something and you don't get it. They get sick when they don't get that reaction. They wake up in the morning, plan their whole day around bothering you because they're obsessed with you. And since you're, you're not giving them the time of day, you're not giving them any energy. You're not speaking to them. You're not saying hello because you know their energy is demonic. So you're staying away. So because you stay away from them and you know they're evil and you're not entertaining or engaging, the next best thing for them to do is get your reaction. And that's why they spend their whole, they, they spend their whole life knowing you, or their whole time around you trying to do that wanting to see how they can react uh, make you react negatively wanting to see how they can control you because they're weak they're constantly insecure and they constantly feel weak that's why they constantly have to try to control the people around them so they can feel better about who they are that's the only way and that, that that's that 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 is what weak people do weak people do things like that you won't see a strong person trying to control, trying to take over somebody else's life, trying to make somebody feel bad, trying to make somebody hate their day, trying to ruin somebody's day. You won't see that. People who love themselves are too busy out loving themselves, meeting positive people, having positive experiences, living their life. These narcissists, they have no life to live except one of misery and, and, and hating on other people, wishing that they were somebody else. But they could, they could never be the chosen. They could never be you. There's only one you. Rejoice in that. Be glad in that. Praise God for that. All right? You know, and the fact that, like I said, they gang up on you, it shows you how strong you are. So take uh, advantage of that. All right? Find courage in your strength. Wow. Five people got to try to take me down. God, the, the power of God in me is very strong. All right? Always give the power and the glory to God. All right, that, but it, it's still the God in you. So yes, it's you that's strong. But when it comes to demonic warfare, spiritual warfare, you want to give praise and, and uh, gratitude to the creator because anything involving defeating that comes from him. I want to thank everybody for watching this video. As we all know, it's now coming to a close. I appreciate you for tuning in. Everybody smash that like button, smash that share button, and smash that subscribe button. It's been another Drew 2 special. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels. I'll see you all in the next video. Drew 2 out.